Hi guys, welcome to the video. As you can see, it's night time and I've never done macro photography at night. I've seen a lot of people do it and I've never actually done it myself. So I thought, you know what, I'll do something I never usually do and see what happens. I don't know if there's going to be any bugs about. I've seen one spider so far and it ended up running away. But I'll come back to that later and uh, hopefully it'll be back out. I'm shooting on the OM-1 Mark II with the OM System 90mm. I did a review on this so you can check that out. I'll leave a link in the description or comments or something. And I'm also using the Godox V860 Mark III. And I spent ages trying to attach this little light, this little headlamp thing to my diffuser. I spent like an hour trying to figure out how to do that. And then I realized that there's actually a light on the flash. Silly me. But I'm actually not going to use this. One, because I spent ages trying to find this light. And two, because... Um, I want to save as much battery as possible on this flash because I only have one battery for this flash. Um, but that's said and done, let's get into the video. So I literally just turned around from doing that intro and found a harvest one. So I didn't take long to find the first subject. And I don't have many photos of these. They must come out a lot at night because of the moisture and stuff, I don't know. This one's in a very nice spot. So hopefully this is an easy, easy image. For this shot, I'm going to shoot at one to one and then I might go for a two to one shot. The problem with shooting at night is that you're going to have to use lights to see what you're doing. And then you get moths all over your body and face. Oh my god. <laughs> we, we are getting attacked by moths right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so we just... We'll try and get back to the photo. I think we're going to go for a slightly more magnified shot. I can actually use the manual focus clutch, which I didn't use at all for the past two weeks when I was using this lens. I didn't realize there's a, a thing so I can just quickly turn the magnification and then see what magnification works best for this shot so this looks pretty good I'm gonna try and get stable just by putting my finger on there all right this sh should be good So even though I've got image stabilization and all this stuff, I still hold my breath because I want to be as steady as possible. I don't know if there's more bugs about at night or anything, but we've found quite a few things. What is that? There's a tiny spider walking across here. I'm going to try and get a single shot of that. I think I can shoot at lower shutter speeds and not have any blurry shot because the flash is what's going to be freezing the, freezing the motion. I'm using F13 here because I want as much as my subject in focus without focus stacking. And I don't want to go higher than F13 because I'll get diffraction which is where your image starts to become soft. So I think what we've got here is a ground beetle and these are fairly common, but in my experience, I've found not so many. So this is rare to me, I'd say. But I'm just gonna go straight for a bracket at F9 because we're quite magnified. Ah, it started moving just as I started to get the eyes in focus, so. Oh, actually, it started moving just before I got the eyes in focus, which is a bit annoying. So I think what I'm going to do here is just go for a single shot and we'll see what we can do. Try and get like a top down angle. That might be quite interesting. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Sometimes a portrait shot doesn't always show off the subjects, subjects, interesting features. Like we've got a lot of detail on the back of this spiel here and shooting less magnified at a different angle reveals that. So yeah, I don't, it's not really still enough at the moment to get a, a portrait anyway. So I'm just going to keep firing off single shots and I'll show you my favourite ones. Cool, I think that should do for the beetle. So I walked a bit further down on this bridge. This bridge is only like 20 feet long and I found quite a few subjects on it. And we've got this tiny little harvestman, I think it is. So we're going to shoot this at two times magnification because any other magnification you're not really going to be able to see this properly and we're just going to fire off a single shot first i think so we've got a single shot there it is staying pretty still at the moment so i'm just going to go straight for a bracket we're going to bracket this f9 and one over 100 shutter speed so i just lowered my power on my flash just so it's exposed nicely for the settings i've got i found it quite hard to find my subjects in the viewfinder at night so far I think that should be a nice clean stack. It didn't move at all. I was pretty still. Okay, so I'm pretty scared of spiders and I went to grab the handle for that door. Handle, it's not a door. 
gate, gate. a gate. Sorry, I can't think straight after that. And then he, he said, the cameraman, watch out, that massive spider's right there. I thought I was touching it. I backed up and look at the size of that. There's my finger. Bigger than my finger now. If it's bigger than your finger now, it's a big spider in the UK. I'm obviously gonna be at one to one because two times magnification is overkill for this. One over 32, F13, one over 50 on the shutter speed. I know it is eating something. It's squirming about quite a bit. I think we've got one in focus so far. It is hard to photograph though. Currently staying still. So hopefully we can get a better composition. I think we have one in focus so far. Okay. It seems to have gone in the crack there. Um, so we're gonna move on to the next subjects now. So we've just came in the field and I haven't really found much so far, apart from these like common little grass bugs, I think they're called. I don't usually like photographing these because they're pretty common, but I'm not finding much else, so. And I'm not gonna bother getting a focus bracket of this because they're pretty common. And I'm gonna shoot this at F11 and one over 50 shutter speed. I'm just gonna go all the way to two times, why not? One thing I found really difficult so far is trying to find the subject in the viewfinder because it's dark and I'm using this light. It seems to be a bit laggy because obviously this is a electronic camera, it uses an electronic viewfinder. So when you look through, it's, it's um, a little bit laggy. This might actually be too magnified. I'm just gonna go to about 1.5 times magnification. I always like to leave a little bit of room for cropping. One thing I did bring out with me is some backgrounds because with it being nighttime, the only thing in the background you're gonna get is a black background, unless you're shooting really close to say the grass, you might get a bit of green in your background. I'm gonna go for the trusty blue background, probably my most used background. We're now shooting at F13 and one over 50 shutter speed. I think I might go a little bit brighter and go to F11. There we go, I think we should have one with the eyes in focus. So right here, we've got a big juicy green caterpillar and I never really find caterpillars. This is like a real caterpillar, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's like the one from the book, the, that's like the only book I've read, I think. The Hungry Caterpillar, is it? Yeah, that book is really good. And I'm not really liking the black background. I like to have color, whether it's just the grass in the background or if I can't get the grass in the background, like right now, I will use some backgrounds should have a purple card here there we are because if you look on the color wheel uh purple is opposite of green i'm just trying to get a clean composition where you don't have all this bit of stinging stuff stinging nettle stuff kind of making the shot look messy to clean up the shot a bit i'm going to shoot it at this angle sometimes you just got to spend that extra couple minutes just trying out different compositions sometimes a different composition just makes the photo a lot better Oh, yo, are you kidding? Sorry, a fly just went in my ear. <laughs> sound scared me. I would not survive a day in Australia or Costa Rica or any country like that. So I was just looking at this spider web and noticing how it's going over here. And then I noticed a scorpion fly and it's in a perfect spot for a portrait as long as my diffuser doesn't hit that. I think I'm going to have to try and grab what it's on. I'm not really going to be able to photograph it. Every time I grab the thing it's on, it just flies away. And now it's gone deeper into the bush. We've uh, come into the river right now. I've shot in this river before quite a few times. And one thing I see a lot in here is stretch spiders. They're the spiders that are usually quite long. It's the name, Stre they're like stretched out. Long legs and stuff, long abdomen. And there's one right here. I'm just going to be careful not to touch the web. I don't, I don't think it's a crazy shot. The composition was a bit off. It was hard to operate the camera when it's upside down and I'm at a really awkward angle. There's a flying my diffuser, for God's sake. There's a moth in there. Oh my God. So this is not the first thing I've seen mating tonight. We accidentally stumbled upon, um, what do you call them, doggers. <laughs> right here, we've got two soldier beetles mating. So we're gonna go in for this shot. We've actually got a bit of color in the background. Well, maybe if I lower the shutter speed even more, to one of a, we'll test our luck, we'll see what one of a 10 does. I would never use one of a 10 unless my camera is dead still. But because it's nighttime, there's no ambient light affecting my image. So with that in mind, it should be okay because the flash should be freezing the motion. I'm gonna get that same shot that we just got there. 
but with a blue background because the background I had was a bit distracting with all the grass strands in the background, it's quite messy. So we've got a cute little um, grass bug, I think, I don't know. It looks, I think grass bug is quite a wide term. There's loads of bugs that are classified as grass bugs, I think. I'm not sure, but this looks like one. But it's a bit like longer and skinnier, but we're gonna get a um, single shot because at a side angle, it's not really worth bracketing unless it's a big subject. Cool, I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Move on to the next subject. I thought there's, there's these plants and they have like little red lumps on them. I don't know if there's one nearby, but I don't know, this one doesn't really have it on them, but a lot of the leaves around here have red bumps. Oh, there's one actually, red bump. And I thought it was just a little bump on here, but it's, I looked closer and noticed it was um, beetles. I actually need to get the right composition. I think I'm gonna have to rotate the leaf like that. Oh, okay, we just, we just lost one beetle. <laughs> One of them just fell. Oh my God, the other one, the other one just fell a little bit as well. Gotta be careful here. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get a bracket because it's, it's walking around. But I'm just gonna fire, fire away a load of shots here at F10. Hopefully one of them's in focus. And I am still using bracketing mode because if it does stop, I can just quickly get a stack or a focus bracket. I focus, focus stack on the computer at home. So hopefully I can make a stack out of that. But if not, I think I can take away a decent single shot. Cool, so right here we've got some sort of moth. And I'm not very good on moths. Um, it is like a common looking brown thing, but its face looks a bit like one of those, um, one of those cute ones, I don't know what they're called. I really need to hold the grasses on because it's swaying around. And Gotta be careful here, it's tangled in a few of the bits of grass and I don't want that. Damn it. Okay, the moth is gone. I think I've got one shot at F10 in focus. It's not a great composition. I wanted a lot more from that, but it's what it is, you know. Sometimes your subject just won't cooperate. All right, so I'm back at the car, at the gate. That spider is still here. It's currently just like, I think it's chewing on something or fixing its web. 1 over 32 on the flash, 1 over 50 on the shutter speed and F13 for the aperture and ISO 200. I never mention the ISO because I always keep it at 200 so I always forget to mention it. What is it doing? I think it's gone. It's gone on the other side of the web now. What is it doing? It's gone in the hole there. That must be where it hides in the day or something because in the day I never see those spiders. There's actually one here. I forgot about that one. There's another one right here. So we'll see if this one's any better, any more cooperative. We're just firing off loads of shots and hoping that one's in focus. That one does seem to be in focus, so I think we've got one on the board there. I don't really like shooting below one to one because this diffuser is designed to shoot subjects about there. And when you're less magnified, you're shooting subjects there. And because the light generally falls here, light doesn't look as good. The highlights on the eyes and stuff are a bit smaller when you shoot less magnified, but it still looks diffused and quite nice. And that spider's gone into the corner, just like the other one. The way it's positioned, um, how it's kind of upside down and on the edge of the piece of fence, it makes it very awkward to get a nice composition. I think I'm practic practically in its web. I accidentally damaged this web a little bit. Sorry about that spider, but that's the problem with shooting on diffusers. Your diffuser often gets in the way of stuff, gets in things, and right there I just got my diffuser all up in that web and broke a bit of it. I'm sure it'll rebuild that for the next few hours. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Broke out of my face, dude! The cameraman just got attacked by a crane fly. <laughs> so oh, he's back, he's back! Go away, brother! <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna call today's video there. Shooting in the night is quite fun. I got a lot more photos than I thought I was gonna get. Um, it seems to be a lot of spiders and moths. Um, I was expecting moths, but spiders, yeah. You see a lot more spiders at night. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff, and I will see you in the next video.